Hi Capricorn, this reading is for you if you just recently broke up or had a fallout with your significant other. I'll do three spreads. The situation, the first spread, in that spread we'll see what happened between you and your person. In the second spread, the advice spread, we'll see what's recommended for you in the situation. And then spread number three, the new love spread, we'll see who is coming towards you in the near future. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. All right, Capricorn, let's see what happened. Uh, we have uh, the Two of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, clarified by the Seven of Swords. Uh, we have the King of Swords, clarified by the Six of Swords, and we have the World on the bottom of the deck. You could have been dealing with an Air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or any Zodiac sign. So yes, we do have this King of Swords, clarified by the Six of Swords right next to the deck. So it could have been an Air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or somebody with a lot of air in their chart. Uh, perhaps they wore a uniform or wear a uniform for a living. For That's how they make their money. They could be an intelligent individual. But uh, when it came to you, um, what I can tell you right away is that they've moved on. Or perhaps you decided to move on. Because this person was very inconsistent. Perhaps this person was MIA all the time and they had excuses. Or you actually found out that this person was juggling multiple people. Right, and uh, the whole situation with this person was just a huge burden. You either knew that they were, you know, uh, sneaking around, or you suspected that they were, but you could, you just could never catch them. Okay, yeah, we have um, the Two of Pentacles, the first guy that came out. In this case, I think this is a juggler, right? Somebody who juggles. Uh, different people, different events, different circumstances, things like that. And then we had, uh, perhaps, uh, like I said, this person was always MIA. They were always busy or you thought that perhaps sometimes they were busy, other times they were not so busy or busy with other people, if you know what I mean. Right, and then we had the Ten of Wands, clarified by the Seven of Swords. The Ten of Wands is a card of a burden. It's a card of something that's taken a toll on us, something that's tough. And it's clarified by the Seven of Swords. And the Seven of Swords is a card of a cheater. It is a card of a deception. It's a card of somebody who sneaks around, somebody who runs away. So again, for some of you, you knew that they were doing that or you suspected. You suspected this. And uh, whatever the case, it was a huge burden for you for the obvious reasons, right? And I think at some point it just simply came to an end. Either you pulled the plug or they actually left. Right? What With that uh, Six of Swords by finding the King of Swords. The world on the bottom of the deck is a card of an ending. But the thing about the world card, uh, Capricorn, this is my happy end card. This is when one chapter of your life comes to an end and a new happy or happier chapter in your life is about to begin. So I think this person out of your life um, is actually going to be better for you. Okay, because yeah, it's like it was a huge burden. Perhaps it still is a burden. And you could be thinking about uh, moving on. Right? Um, yeah, that's what I have for you so far. Let's take a look at the advice spread real quick. Here's the advice for you, Capricorn. Uh, this is from your perspective. Uh, this is what you need to do, or at least take into consideration. We have the Ten of Swords, the Five of Swords, uh, the Four of Cups, and the High Priestess on the bottom of the deck. My, oh my, Capricorn. The first spread was kind of like, um, you know, there weren't any, um, like, furious energies, I guess, for the lack of a better word. This spread right here, this is you shutting the door into this person's face and walking away. And uh, never, ever, ever revisiting the situation with that person. That's what this spread is screaming, right? The Ten of Swords, the first card that came out, is a card of an abrupt ending, right? With the Ten of Swords, it's almost impossible to resurrect anything. You see all those swords, you know, sticking out of uh, the back of that person? It's, it's impossible to um, salvage anything after that. Uh, the Five of Swords in the middle uh, is a card of when people slam the door on the way out and uh, uh, they actually usually have a few things to say. And after such things that are being said, it's impossible to go back. <laughs> All right. And the Four of Cups right next to the deck is a card of a rejection. So reject this person, eject this person out of your life. Okay, if you've already done it, then this right here is a confirmation that you did the right thing. If they ever show up again, don't even bother with them. All right, um, the High Priestess on the bottom of the deck is a card of either something hidden, so if you suspect that this person was sneaking around, then yes, they were. 
right? And uh, the High Priestess could also be a card of your own intuition. So if your intuition is telling you uh, that they are doing something behind your back, your intuition is definitely 100% correct. All right? So, yeah. If your intuition is telling you you need to block this person out of your life completely and for good, then your intuition is also 100% correct. Wow. With those Five of Swords and the Ten of Swords, this is just, you're not taking prisoners, you know. And the Four of Cups is definitely a good a compliment to those two cards. Just in case if you were wondering, perhaps there's a chance for the two of you to reestablish something? No. Zero chances. Alright, so we're moving on. Spread number three is a new love coming towards you in the near future. Here's the third spread, uh, Capricorn. This is new love coming towards you in the near future. Say a couple of weeks, maybe three weeks. We have uh, the Six of Wands, clarified by the world. We have the Two of Cups, clarified by the devil. We have uh, the Nine of Cups, clarified by the Empress. And uh, we also have the Page of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with pretty much any zodiac sign. Any. And um, you have a secret admirer. Or you will have a secret admirer at some point in uh, April, Capricorn. Yep, the Page of Swords on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right. Uh, every once in a while this Page of Swords comes through as a card of somebody who is keeping tabs or somebody who is spying on someone. And uh, I don't mean to sound creepy, but uh, yeah, <laughs> that's what often happens. Perhaps you um, get acquainted, you get introduced to this person, but uh, for the first week or I don't know, a couple of weeks or a couple of days, uh, they'll be looking at your um, profile on your social media and, uh, you know, or say this is somebody you work with or go to gym with. It could be a new person or you could be a new person joining a gym or something like that. But yeah, the Page of Swords is most likely an admirer, right? And uh, here they come with the 601s clarified by the world. Uh, remember the world card from the very first spread, right? It's back. And uh, this is a different deck. I use different decks for different spreads, right? The world is back. The world is my happy end card. Um, this is a, a new chapter, a much better chapter of your life is about to begin. All right, the world could also be someplace remote. So again, perhaps this person is, is watching you on social media. <laughs> All right, and then here they come with that six of ones. The six of ones is a card of victory and success. It's a card of attention. You definitely have this person's full and uh, undivided attention. This is a card of um, somebody who feels good about what's going on, right? So when they do finally make a move, they will feel like this is the right thing to do. They will feel good about this. They'll feel good about the two of you. Um, spending the rest of your lives together. And I think you'll feel good about it as well. Because <laughs> the next card I came out is the Two of Cups, that fight by the Devil. The Devil is your major arcana card, Capricorn, that's you. And there's two people in the Two of Cups, right? That's you and the, whatever their zodiac sign is. And as you can see, I clarified every card that originally came out, we still don't have any additional court cards. Right, but um, yeah, the Two of Cups is a soulmate card. It's a card of unconditional love. It's a card of when two people feel the same way towards one another. And the last card I came out is the Nine of Cups, clarified by the Empress. Um, I would just have to assume that the Empress is uh, your <laughs> card in this case. Not that we ever doubted this, but I think it's just that since the Six of Wands is a card of attention, yeah, you will have all sorts of attention. Uh, coming from this person, right? You will feel like the Empress. The Empress is somebody who feels uh, cherished, somebody who feels loved. The Empress is somebody who is being put up on a pedestal. And by the way, the Empress often comes through as a future wife or a future significant other figure, right? And the Nine of Cups that the Empress is clarifying is a card of a wish come true and it's also a card of personal satisfaction and fulfillment. So you will definitely feel uh, very comfortable, very, very comfortable, right? Um, I think this looks good, it looks very promising, um, and it feels really loved, right? With the Two of Cups, the Nine of Cups right here, and you definitely have this person's attention, and uh, your major arcana card is on the table, and it's always a good sign to have your own major arcana card in your own reading, right? You're definitely in the center of attention. And besides that, you know, the Empress is just abundance in its purest form. It's always good to have the Empress card show up in your own reading. Always. It's like a blessing, <laughs> right? In my spreads, the Empress often comes through as a sign from above, right? So to speak, for um, a connection to move forward. 
And that's what I think is happening here. So yeah, that's what I have for you Capricorn for this reading, for this month. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And other than that Capricorn, have an amazing month.